A Gothic lantern is a captivating piece of lighting that brings the allure of the Victorian era in your home. The lantern is adorned with ornate top and bottom ornaments resembling the Gothic style that was prevalent during the Victorian era. My curiosity to create something new and interesting got me into this Gothic style rechargeable lantern. The design is both nostalgic and timeless, making the Gothic lantern a perfect fit for homes that cherish a touch of historical charm. Watch this video for detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to build the lantern and for a complete instruction on how the electronic circuit works inside the lantern. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can also order advanced PCBs, aluminium PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need to the greatest extent. I went online and searched for a gothic lantern and found a very popular design by Shira. The STL files were free to download from curls3d.com. It was literally a hard to resist 3D model. So I went ahead and downloaded the lantern's STL files for my project. The downloaded STL files only comes with the top and the body of the lantern. However, my aim is to add some electronics to the design to turn it into a rechargeable lantern. To achieve this, I created few more 3D models and added them to the design. I created a base that can hold the 18650 battery holder and a USB type A charging cable. I also created a LED holder that will go inside the body of the lantern. The LED holder has 10 5mm holes to hold the 10 white LEDs in it. It will also house the TP4056-18650 lithium battery charging module. I also created a ring that will go on the top of the lantern. Holding this ring, you can go anywhere with this lantern. Once the 3D models were sorted, it was time for me to fire up my 3D printing oven and start printing these 3D models. I used 1.75 mm cold white PLA filament and printed the models with 0.2 mm with 0% infill and with support. As we all know, 3D printing is the process that uses computer aided design or CAD to create objects layer by layer. 3D printing is not a new technology. It's been there since 1980s when Charles W. Hull invented the process and created the first 3D printed part. Since then, the field of 3D printing has grown exponentially and holds countless possibilities. The 3D printing process fascinates me a lot and I sometimes love to sit near my 3D printer and watch these layers getting printed. The entire process took a little over 53 hours and this is the final result. The circuit is very simple. A USB type A charging cable connects to the input of the TP4056 module. The 18650 battery connects to the B plus and B minus terminals of the module. And finally, the LEDs connect parallelly to the out plus and out minus terminals of the module with a push button switch connected to the positive terminal. Using this switch, we can turn on or off the lantern. Let's start by soldering the wires to the LEDs. As previously discussed, all these LEDs will be parallelly connected to each other. Next, I screwed the 18650 battery holder to the base of the lantern.
After that, I super glued one of the LED holders to the base. And then one by one slided the LEDs into the holes of the LED holder. After that, I soldered the TP4056 module as per the circuit diagram. To conclude the setup, I pushed the remaining LEDs into the holes of the second half of the LED holder and then super glued it to the base of the lantern. I wanted to give this lantern a rustic wooden texture. For that, I applied a raw cyana and burnt umber to the body of the lantern. I wanted this lantern to have a soft illumination without any harsh light. So, I went ahead and used the white plastic of a milk bottle to give this lantern a diffused lighting effect. I used metal pieces and magnets to stick the bottom plate to the base of the lantern. Once all the electronic bits were sorted, I screwed the body of the lantern to the base. Then to conclude the setup, I super glued the top to the body of the lantern. That's it, all done. So this is how my final setup looks like. The red glow inside the lantern, which is bit hard to see in the bright sunlight, indicates that the battery is now charging. Press the push button switch from the base of the lantern to turn it on or off. Do comment and let me know if there are any scopes of improvement. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.